What up? Quick question. Do it God's way or go to jail? Am I the only one who had that thought? Who's ever had that thought? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Bienvenidos a mi canal. Welcome back to my channel. If you know me, thank you so much for coming back to see me. I appreciate you. If you do not recognize this face, my bad. My name is Latrice. Nice to meet you. And this right here is Faith by Latrice, mm -hmm. where faith is the muscle we exercise around here. Now let's get on into what y'all know. Dilly dally. Mira. That first statement, I was serious. <laughs> Either we doing it God's way or sometimes like is is we gonna go to jail, which okay. First Corinthians, shall we? Mm hmm First Corinthians, um, boom. So right now we're about to talk about the wisdom of God. Now, I read in the thing in the little synopsis, why did Paul write this letter? Paul wrote this letter to the church of Corinth because mm, it says, surrounded by corruption and every conceivable sin, the Christians in Corinth felt pressure to adapt to the low standards around them. Okay. Many who had already compromised asserted that they were free in Christ. But what did that really mean, right? So boom, Paul writes this letter to make it clear. Listen, y'all say y'all believe in God. Y'all say y'all believe in Jesus, but you guys are acting buck wild like all the people y'all live around. All the people who say they, all the people who don't believe in God, you acting like them, but you still saying, that's like me getting up here and say, I believe in Jesus, but I'm going over here chopping people's heads off. Okay. So he wrote them a letter to remind them. If you say you believe in Jesus Christ, you, your life should be shaped by him. Mm -hmm. You need to allow Jesus to shape your life, your values, your decisions, the way you, what you believe, how you move, how you treat people, all the things. Mm. The wisdom of God, 1 Corinthians uh, 1 and 18 says, the message of the cross, of the whole story of Jesus down on the cross, all things. The message of the cross is foolish to those who are headed for destruction. That's pretty simple. But we who are being saved know, know it is the very power of God. So, Basically, once you skip a few, this book right here, to many people, is foolish. It's nonsense. It don't make no sense. That's stupid. That's It's not really logical. It's not object. Like, what are you talking about? Right? But to people who have believed and know this to be true, and the only truth there is, it's power in knowing it. Mm. And it says, verse 22, it is foolish to the Jews who ask for signs from heaven. They won't prove. They won't do make fire fall from the sky. Mm. Um. And it is foolish to the Greeks who seek human wisdom. Prove it to me by some philosophy, by some formula. Prove it to me. Okay. So when we preach that Christ was crucified, the Jews are offended and the Gentiles say it's all nonsense. I know that when I get up here and say things from out of this book after studying and reading and having my time with God, I know people are either offended or they think I'm dumb or they like, girl, what are you even talking about? I know that. I don't care. Okay. Let's get into it. The wisdom of God. Mm. Many people... Listen, I'm not, listen, and this is no shade. If you don't believe in God, that's your business. I ain't, listen, I'm not trying to convince, persuade you. This is what I believe and I'm just sharing it, all the things. Here's the thing, right? The world will tell you, my God, everything about the kingdom of heaven, everything about God's way is backwards from the way of this world that we live in, right? Not to get all Christianese churchy, but every practical example. If somebody do you wrong, what do we do in return? You, you already know it because you're thinking it. You're going to do something wrong to them. Or you're going to have animosity. You're going to treat them differently. You're not going to still be nice to them, right? If somebody lied to your face and you know they lie. If somebody tricked you, deceived you, and you found out about it. If somebody did you wrong and didn't hide it, you are going to treat that person differently now. You are not going to be nice to them. You are not going to love on them. You're not going to buy them any more gifts. You are not going to pray for them, probably. You're not going to compliment them on their outfit when they come to work. You're not going to do any of that because the world, culture, everybody says it's an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. You give me something, I give you that same energy back. But this book right here says you're supposed to pray for your enemies. If they ask you for a shirt, give them your coat. If they do you wrong, pray for them. Take care of them. If they tell you, go a mile with me, you're supposed to go two miles, 10 miles, all the things. You're supposed to be nice and kind to them. Respect them. Have compassion for them. Don't treat them any differently, but you're supposed to be nice. And all. That's the wisdom of God, right? But I have learned that in personal experiences. If somebody does me wrong, it does not help me and it does not help them if I return the favor. What happens is I'm going to keep repeating what they did to me up here and it's going to be recycled right here. So then when I have, when I try to put out something, I'm going to be putting out whatever I've been rehearsing. Who is that going to help? No one. Okay. But it's not easy to do that. So that's why we need G for those of us who do believe in him. I'm going to tell y'all right now, Latrice, me, I, hello, hi. I need Jesus every single day. 
Because like I said, Latrice, the person ain't that great. I get mad at people and I start thinking stuff up here about them, about what all the, okay. So like I said in the intro, do it God's way or go to jail. I got to pick every day. Anyways, I hope this helps somebody. The wisdom of God, the wisdom of God is helpful. It's not going to make sense to people, but I've seen it in my own life. It worked. See, now that I your oi. Esta día que te soy hablando a ti mismo. If nobody has told you today, I want to tell you that I love you and I love me. Because <laughs> listen, I be living out here. But get what? We are going to prosper regardless. Catch on the flip side. Bye.